Revolution Museum. That's right. Hope you enjoyed the drive over. It was a pretty drive. So we're going to go in here and uh, check this out. It's kind of like Jamestown Museum, I'm really limited on what I can video and picture. So, there's that. Oh, it's back on. The light's back on. So what did you say it says? So grab your wool blanket and there's your bed for the night. Hmm. I'd say it's probably one of the higher ups. Okay. I'll tell you, this one was a lap of luxury for a tent back then. Well, this one's got a cot in it too, and I'd be willing to bet. This is definitely a in charge person. Yeah, he's a captain. Colonel's live large. It's the Colonel's tent. Let's say he had uh, he had to set up. 
And by the way, it does smell like a Boy Scout tent in here. Yes. Exactly. Simple yes. error. Same concept, just different naming scheme. There goes the gun. And let's see. Yeah, he's doing one more shot to just keep that in mind. Um, so yeah, you can hear hard tech, civil war era, hard bread, revolutionary war. And then if you've been to Jamestown yet, to the ships, you may have seen something called ship's biscuit. Again, yeah. Same concept, just different naming scheme. Uh, we're a, a little bit literal when it comes to that stuff. Once again, it's bread, it's hard. hard bread. So the guy told us up at the camp that every day around three something they'll have a cannon fire and they fire that cannon right there and this is where they do it um, and it's pretty cool I've been around Civil War cannon firing so we're not going to hang out for that today but uh, yeah when you come, when you come to uh, go do Jamestown and then Williamsburg and then come to the American Revolution Museum do it in that order um, you'll get it better. We're not through. We're going back in. We missed something pretty important. We're going to go back in and see it. Uh, Heather and him went down to the village down below and I'm kind of hanging out, hanging back. This is the, what is it called? The Victory Monument. It's, we calculate about 98 feet ish. Around 98 feet. Um, yeah. For winning the war. Yorktown video here um, being kind of quiet because I'm in the cemetery of Yorktown you saw the 
thing. There's a lot of unknown soldiers buried here. In some cases, there's two and three soldiers in the grave. So anyway, when you come to visit the, mer the um, museum, it's worth the drive to come out to the battlefield and do the driving tour and you can do a walking tour. We're not doing that, but this is pretty neat. And it's kind of solemn at the same time knowing what these guys did. We're fighting for our freedoms then. Just like we're still doing today. Fight for everybody else's freedoms. So anyways, I'm going to stop right there. Maybe add a few more clips as long along the battlefield as we go. But uh, I thought this would be a good ending right here. It's a battlefield. Um, soldier here died in May 1864. Pretty neat. Alright guys. I always say, be prepared.